this is very exciting. Very exciting. This is my new Ninja 1000. It's a 2015 model. A leader bike. Um, sport touring is what they call it. It's wonderful. Um, it's only got 7,000 kilometers or 4,500 miles on it. So it's mint. It's absolutely brand new. I'm going to go and take it for its first ride after I wasn't able to record me bringing it home yesterday because uh, my GoPro decided to fail. So that's what it is, but uh, yeah, my first chance to put my Ninja sock on the reservoir. Okay, it's a very interesting bike. That's why I chose it. Super, super interesting. Um, it looks and feels and sounds like a sport bike, but it's got an upright riding position. It's like a big Vulcan, uh, a big Ninja 650. It's very smooth. It's four cylinders, obviously. Um, very interesting. Very comfortable. I can ride on this all day. In fact, it's a little bit more comfortable than, than the 650 after I put the clip-ons on. Okay. So uh, what can I say about it? Um, I found it on Trade Me. Um, it was a good uh, $10,000 less than the new one. Nine, $19,000 less than the new one. Um, so yes, it's not the latest model. It doesn't have the nice digital display. Uh, but I don't care too much about that. I care more about uh, the feel of the ride and the performance. Um, and the fact that it's got a new engine, right? When the whole new thing. It's a, it's a interesting, it's an American import. It comes from Pennsylvania, imported by a local uh, dealer. They bring in boats and bikes and quad bikes and all sorts of interesting things. Um, so it comes with a warranty, which is good. Um, so really there's not much more than other just to enjoy it. I got uh, offered a ridiculous trading value on, on my Ninja, so I just popped it onto Trade Me, uh, onto Facebook, just to see if I could get any hooks, and I had like jeepers, 13 people want to come and have a look at it and pay. Um, so I got, I ended up getting for it what I paid for it. Uh, admittedly I've spent money on it, but that money that I spend on a bike I always consider fun hobby money. I don't consider it value being added to the bike. Uh, simply because, uh, well, um, I could have taken all the things off, I suppose. The, 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 big, the big ticket item was a new fairing kit. And I've still got the old fairings, so maybe I can polish them up and sell them. Get a little bit of money back. Um, yeah, but be careful with this boy. If you twist the wrist here, tell you what, it gives you a good wallop. So, uh, finesse is everything. Also, it's got two modes as well, which I will talk about in more detail. This is my first ride, first quick chat about it all. But um, it's, got, it's got an F mode for full power and an L mode for low power. So the low power one is for riding in the rain and also when you're riding in the urban environment, city, you don't want the bike to be twitchy. Um, and let me tell you something, it's a different bike when I switch it on. The sound of the engine changes. I think you only get 70% of the horsepower. Everything changes. The sound changes. It feels more relaxed. Um, there's also three modes. There's a, a mode 1, 2 and 3 on the um, Kawasaki traction control system. Yeah, the only, the, only, the only hassle that I have right now is how am I going to fit my... my uh, phone on it because there's an option here it's too narrow I can see you can pop something in there and you get a ram mount anyway back to how it feels it feels lovely it's, it's super smooth I mean I have to get used to it because um, it is a thousand cc's it's a liter um, and um, yep uh, it's, yeah you just got to be careful you can't just open it up like a could on ninja and ring it right out um, it'll catch you real quick So no one's here. Okay, so I wasn't actually in third. Interesting. Uh, 
um, can't see any scratches next nothing on it so that's cool it's got that beautiful Kawasaki green that I like um, two fork two um well inverted forks and um, quite buff looking brakes these are interesting they've got a special name petal I think they put petal uh, most important thing is it's got ABS which my other Kawasaki no other ninja did not to me I'm not really seeing behind me do they how do they move I think they they do that okay so that locks them out of the way so that's I'm seeing my hand on both of them I don't really want to see my gloves 